नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग राम राम टूडेज वीडियो इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज अबाउट द रेट्रोगेट ऑफ सेटन विच इज हैपनिंग फ्रॉम सेवनटींथ जून टू फोर्थ नवंबर वन फोर्टी डेज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ यू से दिस वीडियो इज ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल नो दिस इज अकॉर्डिंग टू लाल किताब द ग्रंथ ऑफ कल योगा हाउ लाल किताब डिफाइंस दिस रेट्रोगेशन ऑफ सेटन हाउ दिस इज गोइंग टू इम्पैक्ट यूअर चार्ट अदर देन वैदिक वे एंड वट इज द रेमिडी सो लेट्स वेलकम आकाश जी with his all research about this lal kitab uh, retrogation of saturn akash ji namaskar welcome thank you ji arun ji yes lal kitab uh, or red book it is uh, another uh, uh, thing in astrology so here this is very uh, modern and written in this century only and has many many interpretations of planets in very different manner hmm. so it has come out of vedic astrology only but uh, some people say it has come out of ravan sahita like the granth written by lord ravana but uh, we will when we talk about the planets here and we will make a series on lal kitab other planets as well like other planets and what are their effects in different houses but for saturn today we have to first understand saturn what lal kitab thinks saturn is there is one uh, more observation i want to tell you in start that yeah. as somebody said that uh, lal kitab is you know invented by rupchand joshi ji oh, yes this is true and some as you told from ravan sahita and there is one more concept that lal kitab is written by you know the person who drives the chariot of uh, surya dev okay he, he writes this lal kitab so there are lots of things yes your research will be definitely needed here very much yeah, so there are yeah, i told roj ji lot of things and some people say that lal kitab was only invented in south south of india oh. and some say it was invented only in east of india so there are so many uh, uh, things to it but uh, the red book is red book there is only one lal kitab and other people have interpreted many things in lal kitab in their own way but yes rupchand joshi is the one hmm. now here it is also called prachin lal kitab mm-hmm. there is something called prachin lal kitab also so at the slow sub uh, saturn in lal kitab is uh, mentioned as the slowest moving planet and the chief significator of longevity saturn is barren binding cold dry hard and defensive and secretive planet it effects and influences are felt with greater intensity and for longer period than any other planet and who knows this better than everyone everyone who is listening to the video that saturn whenever it comes it gives you pain for a longer period of time but um, that pain is not pain that pain is gain because that is trying to make you understand that what kind of uh, what kind of life is this which we are living right now and here saturn is considered very favorable for people born with sign owned with venus in fact it is also written in the red book that saturn loves venus like anything crazily in love with venus that's why it um it considered very favorable for people born in sign owned by venus whereas saturn is evil to those born in the signs owned by mercury now rohit ji here uh very important things to uh, think that saturn and mercury are friends according to lal kitab but here the the dual nature of saturn comes to play where saturn is no one's friend another thing which is also mentioned in the vedas that saturn is no one friend saturn may like someone may dislike someone but it is no one friends when it comes to giving the result of your karma saturn is no one friend but when it comes to liking and disliking saturn likes uh, uh mercury venus and rahu we will talk about it now the astrological thesis of lal kitab describes saturn as a serpent whose head or mouth is rahu that means he has the the head is rahu and the tail is ketu and in your chart if ketu is positioned earlier in house than saturn so for example if you are talking from number 1 number 2 3 4 5 6 so if saturn is in 6th house and ketu is in 2nd house good no problem but if saturn is in 6th house and ketu is in 7th or 8th house or 9th or 10th or 11th or 12th then you know saturn uh, uh, if it is uh, before like if it is before um, uh, saturn at like least before saturn then uh, the latter becomes a, gra- a great benefit for native however if the position is otherwise if saturn is you know if saturn is um, 
in sixth, and I told you that Ketu is in eight, seventh, eight, nine, ten. Then it has poisonous result on the native. That means the the dasha and the antardasha of Saturn will be more potent and more destroying than the natural uh, the one with Ketu before Saturn. So is it clear till here? Yes. yes. Now, Rohini, Sun and Moon and Mars are its enemies. Okay, Venus, Mercury, and Rahu are friends, and Jupiter and Ketu are very neutral to it. Saturn gets exalted in seventh house, and first house is the house of debilitation. Right? In Vedic astrology, also it is the same thing, but it Vedic says that Saturn is uh, debilitated in Aries and um, exalted in Libra. Here also it is the same thing. But that Aries and Libra can be anywhere. But in uh, Kal in uh, Lal Kitab, it is only Kal Purush Kundli. That means wherever your planets are, it, the first house will be considered Aries only. Okay, Rohit ji. Uh, Here, so Rahu. You personally, uh, analyze the charts of clients. Then you use this Lal Kitab, the Red Book technology in that chart. You in, you infuse that thing in that. See, yeah, we use Red Book, KP, everything. But mostly okay. Vedic. I do Vedic. Mm -hmm. Red book is the the only thing is if someone wants a very immediate results of you know someone is supposed to be getting a hearing done on some if someone is going to jail, someone is having a big court case and they want an immediate remedy that you know I just need to get saved. Mm -hmm. Lal Kitab remedies comes to play. But there are some Lal Kitab remedies Ruiji, which are against Vedic principles. Mm -hmm. But still, they are there and they work. They work very well. Immediate relief. If somebody comes to you and say that I want immediate relief, these three days are very important for me. Then you go for the red book thing for that immediate relief. Treatment yes. is important. So red book is a part of that your Vedic treatment and yeah, all. But uh, apparently, all the red book astrologers do not have a very good ending in their life. Hmm. Astrologers as well, and the people who are, uh, you know, practicing very malefic. There are very good remedies in Red Book. Some are very good, but some are very malefic. So if you are doing that, then uh, mm. can be an issue. We cannot manipulate nature's role and cause. Like you can say that, uh, Kazji, you can say that like we consume sugar. Now this is, uh, if you consume oh, more and more, more and more, it will definitely affect you. But it will take in very limited way, sugar and salt. It will control your BP. So that's yeah. why Red Book's remedies, if you do in you know very limited way. So all the remedies of Red Book also, which I give, is all the Sattvic remedies. I have figured out many Sattvic remedies. Good, of Red Book. I do not give any remedy like uh, yeah. Sometimes I give that go and bury this and this and that because you have to bury bury the planet sometimes. But yes, mostly Sattvic remedies. Now, uh, Rohiji, Rahu and Ketu act according to the instructions given to them. Red Book has a very important uh, mention about it that Rahu and Ketu only listen to Saturn and Rahu and Ketu act as Saturn gives wants to give result. Mm -hmm. so for example, if you are in Sari Sati and the Sat Saturn says Rahu that, you know, give him poison, mm -hmm. get him poison. So Rahu will do that. Mm -hmm. And if he says Ketu, put him into isolation or put him into jail, Ketu mm -hmm. will do it. So it all depends on Saturn. Whatever he commands, Rahu and Ketu, they are supposed to be doing that kind of activity. Now, Lal Kitab, when Saturn is retrograde in the 11th house of a person's birth chart, it can have very specific effects. And we are going to talk about those effects briefly. Here, Rohit 17th June to 4th of November. That is exactly 140 days when Saturn is getting retrograde in the 11th house of Kal Purush Kundi. So here, there is no Rashi, no sign, nothing. It is the 11th house. OK? That means in Kumbh Rashi, Aquarius, it is going to be retrograde. And Lal Kitab does not consider if this your ascendant is Aries or Taurus or Gemini. It is single thing for it. It starts from Aries and it ends at Pisces. Okay, it is very straight. And there are very simple logics of Lal Kitab, which are very good. But I, I feel somehow, Rohitji, that uh, Vedic astrology is... Or the, the Parashara system, Parashari system, or Gemini system is um, more uh, and more accurate. Mm. Lal Kitab is 80% there. Mm. 80, now, Lal Kitab astrologers will try to abuse me and give me a lot of uh, 
you know abusive language they will use for me but mm-hmm. i feel that vedic astrology is bigger because it is the origin right origin is always bigger now you know we we use apple phones but other copy apple phones are not so they might be very good but they are not exactly the apple phone exactly the same way <laughs> this uh lal kitab is it is accurate 80% 85% sometimes more than 100% but sometimes uh, there is little bit of speculation many vedic astrologers will say lal kitab is garbage and very uh, lal kitab astrologers say vedic astrology is garbage but i feel that everyone is interdependent on each other yes yes yeah so roji here it is 17 june to 4th november 140 days now first thing is that it happens is 11th house in lal kitab is also considered the house of social circle uh so that means uh, another uh, thing which is derived from vedic astrology in lal kitab is that it also believes the parashari explanation of the houses only it do not mentions about fifth house being the house of um, uh what do you say lottery it only says that eighth house can be the house of lottery but fifth house is also the house of lottery so if the fifth house lord goes and sits in the eighth house then yes lottery is seen there anyway so now challenges in social circle retrograde saturn in the 11th house may bring challenges and obstacles in your social work and friendship friendships you may face difficulties in forming or maintaining relationship with others it could indicate a need to reevaluate your social connection and let go your toxic and unreliable friendships so very clear that there will be challenge in social circle and that is only because of your identification of your friends and you know it is a time for you to now reevaluate that how can your friends and you be you know placed for the future events or the for the future things which i'm going to talk about and that is delay in achieving goals so now this place placement also suggests that ambitions and goals may face delays and obstacles will come that is very generic uh, thing for uh, saturn to do because saturn whenever it is retrograde in any house whenever it was 10th or 11th or 12th or 5th or 6th anywhere it will show delay because that is the nature of that planet saturn will not do anything fast it is a very patient planet it takes two and a half years to just go into one sign so just see the importance of saturn so it will do delays somehow it will keep you into a lot of uncertainty it may take longer to achieve the desired level of success and recognition and on the same time now what we have to do so this is what is happening to us now but on the same time we have to be very much focused on hard work maintain a disciplined approach and despite the setbacks learn from it and move forward rather than crying sitting and crying on the thing that oh you know this did not happen learn from your mistakes why it did not happen and next time when you are supposed to do it do it with so much confidence so much discipline and hard work that it happens to you and you know, roji we cannot keep crying that this is not oh. happening not happening we have to move forward in a way where we make things happen we have 30% free will so we have to make use of that so you now financial challenges because 11th house everyone knows second 11th house and in lal kitab 8th house also is the house of money and in lal kitab 9th house also is somehow the destiny house they say is the house of money 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 comes whenever there is any transit here but um, financial challenges will be there retrograde saturn in the 11th house it will bring limitations it will say that okay you need to limit yourself there is this is a limit uh, you would it will not destroy you fully it will not recover fully so it will be in the between and there will be slow progress in finance coming in so all the finance that you are expecting that oh it is just coming so just wait it will be little slow also there will be little bit of uh, you know all these people who are supposed to get promotion or you know bonuses and all these things because saturn is getting retrograde so the world will also get affected not only your chart but the whole uni- the whole world whole earth will be affected so everything will become snow maybe maybe there will be some kind of transformation or some kind of things in your company where saturn uh, retrograde also act, you know lets uh, their money also which will be stuck somewhere so they will not acquire wealth so they will not be able to give it to you all the people who are in businesses will have you know their um, uh, incoming will be very slow and there will be lot of uh, debt uh, you know like you know in business somehow you will be very 
you know you will be very frustrated during this period so it is advisable to be cautious with financial investment so now since your money which is stuck and not coming in you have to be also um, cautious about investments because you will make at this time when you know things are not working out for you that is the time we are very potent to make any kind of stupid or uh, you know impulsive decisions that can lead to more losses so make sure you do not make any impulsive decisions it is just temporary you have to understand that if you have come across this video there is some force in the nature or universe working or any video any other as for this video that is nature is working to explain you that yes there is going to be delay in and there will be more challenges okay so just relax now here ruji the another thing about saturn which i discussed in the first slide is that saturn is the barren it is barren it is cold it is an isolated place so saturn the the the, the planet saturn is also overall very barren and isolated so you might also feel that same thing in your heart that you know i am very isolated and very barren nothing is happening i you know the associations uh, with um with groups and with individuals and you know it will not be very fruitful during this period you will feel you will have that sense of isolation inside your mind it could be a challenging period to find like minded people also because here when you are in that zone of uh, a struggle you need, you do not need people who give you false hopes you need people with concrete explanation about your struggle and they want you to explain that what will happen if uh, you know if such kind of things happen so it is important to during this period to focus on self reflection inner growth and finding your unique path to fulfillment so that means again saturn means slow but possible saturn is slow but possible fast and destroyed so the mantra is slow and possible fast and destroyed act like saturn but also depends on the dasha and antar dasha of your uh, chart but yes saturn is getting retrograde it is a important planet in our chart now again ruji here 11th house says revaluation of associations retrograde saturn and there is again this is just like the same uh, thing like delay in achieving goals so for that reevaluating our association that what kind of and you know the 11th house is the house of associations and that can be with anyone your company your colleagues your elder siblings your uh, you know anyone who is in daily routine uh, connected to you so you need to reevaluate your associations and networks that you know are am i in the right situation am i in the right association is my goal achievable with them it is a time and i also told in according to vedic astrology it is a time when saturn is repairing it will give you time this is a time to repair because when it becomes direct then it has the full power to do whatever it says is right or wrong so basically according to lal gita it will tell rahu and ketu okay so you know i gave them a lot of time but they did this 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 so now you need to punish them with this 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 or you can say that you know during my retrogression they did a lot of improvement now reward them with this 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 so you need to make sure to be selective about the groups and you are associated and you surround yourself with supportive and reliable individuals now rahul ki tarah has many remedies so it ji and which are very sometimes very dangerous sometimes very okay now here there is only little bit of remedy which is uh, outside of uh, you know vedic uh, astrology but again it is for good only and we have been doing it and all the people who are watching the video actually watching and they will realize it that they have been doing it so number one is roji before going to any important workplace a vessel filled with water okay so now you have to place a vessel any vessel that is made out of black clay you have to fill it with water come you have to have that black clay vessel in in your home at like for ever and put water important you go you do your important work you go for an interview you're going for a visa interview you're going for any kind of important activity make sure you do that and when you come back you just take the water and put it in some kind of plants or on the soil another remedy is that drop oil on wine on earth for 43 days 
so this is this says that you know i have developed i was reading about it that how do we do it how will we put one drop of oil on wine so the best thing is to take a dropper from which we give kids the medicine so just put it in the oil take just or water or oh, sorry uh, put it in the um, oil uh, oil uh, vessel just take one drop and put that one drop on earth not on your floor in the house it should be on earth like on soil on grass on earth on soil okay and also the same way you can do take wine a drop of wine and put it on on the surface of earth that is on soil it has to be done for 43 days in a row to get your work or to get your uh, you know what is the 11th house the 11th house is the house of desires goals manokamna like something that comes out of your heart to get it complete you have to do this so that it gets complete another thing is that you know abstain from drinking and maintaining a good moral character that means do not drink eat non veg during this period and also maintain good character that means going out of marriage or doing adultery or going into prostitution is not advisable during this period feeding of black dogs can bring good luck and lighting mustard oil lamp in a black um, ardan uh, diya or black ardan lamp is good mustard oil in the evenings very very good and recitation of hanuman chalisa again uh, number one remedy in the world is if you have god within you one of the planets no one can put, put any harm to you so make sure that if you recite hanuman chalisa during this period or you are a devotee of hanuman ji it can become be a very good uh, uh, result of saturn retrogation you will get the evil effects very less yeah rohit ji so very beautifully explained akash ji because the red book is you know it creates vaccination and uh, when you see the red book remedies and analysis this is different and i uh, you rightly said that when you are in danger or some situation like this then you use the red book for your purpose of analysis thank you very much and those who want to consult akash ji for uh, you know this 140 days are very important if you are thinking of vedic according to vedic astrology my chart is not good so many problems so maybe lal kitab has some promising thing in that and if you want your chart to be analyzed by akash ji you can just drop your details on the mail id or the whatsapp number given below team will contact you rohit ji it is also good for people who do not know their time of birth you know then they know that because lal according to lal kitab this transit will be very uh, potent for them because if you don't know your time of birth or date of birth and you don't know where saturn is placed at least through this video they will be understanding that yes saturn is here so maybe this is the kind of result i may get so i need to be cautious so lal kitab is for all the people who do not know that you know exact time of birth or or the transits are so in a way where according to lal kitab if we going forward rohit ji as a suggestion is that we will also make transits through lal kitab so it will be very easy for people who do not know their rashi their ascendant nothing like that transits will help them make decisions correct and i would also request other people all the people who are watching to subscribe so that our family increases yes and very good point you said that if you don't know the time and anything you can get the benefit of this red book analysis this is good because lots of people say this vedic has a time correction thing but i think yes red book can also be helpful for this thank you akash ji thank you very much and thank you to all of you and we'll meet you in some next video analysis or live till then jai shri ram jai shri ram